the game can see the boxing boys. Andy Ruiz Jr., he's back after what, 15 month layoff, Andy? 15 months. How do you feel, man? I mean, it's, this is a big fight considering your last fight, you know, you took your first defeat of your career. This is a big fight for you, you know, on your trip to get back to the top. Yes, it is. You know, I had my first loss over there with Joseph Parker, but we learned from the mistakes and, you know, we just got to take it more serious and, and train my ass off. A few months ago, you said that you put more emphasis on being more conditioned for this fight. Do you feel like that's the case going into this fight? Um, yeah, you know, um, the, it, it's all the cases, you know, having conditioning, the strength, um, the speed, the power. But right now that I have my new team, I'm with Manny Robles. I got Memo next to my corner. Um, all the things that I didn't have before and all my other fights. So I think this is a new start, new beginning for Andy Ruiz Jr. Definitely, Andy, and you got, a, you got a good fan base out there. People want to see you back in the ring. Um, how, what, what are you weighing right now? Um, I'm at 260. Um, I don't look like I'm 260, no, you but, um, but, you know, I'm big boned. But, you know, the, the main thing right now is to try to shred, shred off the, the fat and make it into muscle. And, um, you know, so I can make a big statement out there. And Andy, a lot of people like the way you fight because you throw hands, man. You're not going to go in there and try to like dance around. You actually go in and fight, and that's why you're respected. Obviously, you got to get past uh, Vargas, I believe his name is. Uh-huh, I'm Devin Vargas. Big Latino who, played, who was in the Olympics as well. How do you see that matchup playing out first? You know, there's a good matchup, um, a good matchup for, for having a long layoff, but you know, I don't underestimate any, any fighter or anybody, so the main thing is to Train hard, focus, and focus for this fight and for the next coming up. Definitely. And uh, Andy, how do you feel about the division man, Joshua uh, Wilder? How, how did you see that Wilder-Ortiz fight? I think that was an epic fight, man. You know, it took took a little while for the action to come, but when the action came, it came. And, you know, tops off to, to both fighters, you know, both tough fighters. But I would love to get in the ring with, with both of them. And, um, you know, the, the main thing is to get back in the rankings and, to prove to prove um, the people and myself and um, to get that WBO. Hey, Andy, what would it mean to you if you won a heavyweight championship and became the first Mexican or Mexicano champion of all time? You know, it mean everything, you know, and, and it's, it's gonna happen, you know. Um, I was so close uh, to, to get the WBO, but, you know, things happen for a reason. And um, now that I have a new team, there's a lot of things change, that are gonna change and, um, it's gonna happen. That's what's up. All right, Andy, good luck this weekend, man. We'll be Thank watching. You, man. Thank you, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Ain't no other sight in the game can see the boxing boys.